Hello, and welcome to the WTF TV Upfront presentation. We're so excited to see so many of you in person again this year. And to those of you watching at home, it's probably best that we can't see you. We are also very excited to showcase our upcoming lineup of shows, half of which will be off the air by December, in hopes of convincing your advertising clients to lock themselves into year-long commitments to spend millions of dollars with us in hopes of reaching their target audience while those people are visiting their grandparents. What a racket. Excuse me? Me? Yeah, you. Do you have a problem with the upfront model? As a digital ad buyer, I just can't believe this is still a thing. The TV upfront is the backbone of the TV advertising industry and has been for 60 years. And I'm sure in the age of black and white TV and bunny ears, that was great. But it seems ridiculous today to think that any media company can guarantee an audience over the course of the next 12 months and that any financially responsible advertiser in exchange would be willing to consign a chunk of their annual budget especially considering how the past two years have shown how the health of any company's business can change overnight. And the past two years have also shown how important it is for companies to be able to reach as many of their current and potential customers as possible to update them on the health of the company's businesses. And there remains no more cost-effective platform than TV for reaching a large number of people at the same time. Fine, but how can you assure any advertiser in May that in March of next year, on a Monday at 8 p.m., a certain number of people are gonna tune in to whatever sitcom you put on the air. Well, we can't, but we can assure them that if an insufficient number of people watch that show, then we can find that audience elsewhere, either on our linear networks, our streaming services, or even some of our digital properties, including our YouTube channels. But why would I, as an advertiser, believe you? You don't have to. Sorry, what? You don't have to believe me. You just have to believe in the economics. The placing a multi-million dollar year-long bet is good business. Exactly. Facebook is getting more expensive and less effective in the wake of Apple's anti-tracking changes. Google is great for people who are already aware enough of your product to know to search for it. Amazon's still trying to crack the brand advertising business. And then third-party cookies going away, which is going to affect advertisers' abilities to measure and attribute the effectiveness of their online ads. That all may be true, but none of that is an argument for why advertisers should be locking themselves into year-long TV advertising deals. Do you ever shop at Costco? Yeah, sure. And when you shop at Costco, do you ever buy bananas and avocados and milk? No. But I bet you buy laundry detergent and batteries and toilet paper, and I bet you buy them in bulk. Yeah, because it's so much cheaper than getting the regular size packs at the grocery store. Plus, I know I'm going to use them eventually, and they're not going to go bad. And that argument also applies to the TV upfront model. So the TV upfront is annual stocking up on toilet paper. 